the ashfall has been significant and the tsunami waves have been destructive, but we don't know the extent of the damage. So the challenge is nobody is in contact with anybody on the island. Uh, and therefore we are all a bit in the dark about exactly the scale of damage or what people are experiencing. So we imagine one of the greatest needs is to provide water purification and clean drinking water. We imagine that is priority number one, actually, because of the ashfall. Secondly, anyone living in the coastal areas may well have had their houses damaged by the tsunami waves. So shelter, is a second humanitarian concern. And because communications have been so compromised, people will have lost contact with their loved ones. And therefore, restoring those family links is a third priority for us. It could be with a population of around 100,000 and with 70% of them living on one island, and with that island being heavily affected, we're roughly thinking up to 80,000 people could be affected. But how many of them are seriously affected? We don't know. Yet, when New Zealand is attempting reconnaissance flights damage, particularly on the uh, islands closest to the eruption itself. The underwater cable that ha appears to have been damaged may not be fixed for two or three weeks, so full restoration of contact is, is not close. But mobile phones might start working again in the coming days, so that's what we're really hoping for at the moment.